So I recently revamped my Warlock tech guide explaining all the new techs inside of Lightfall that have come out. I wanted to go ahead and revamp my Hunter tech guide next and explain some of the techs that have come out since Lightfall's release and some of the changes that have happened. So here it is. So first things first is Shatter Skate. The way you perform a Shatter Skate is by heavy attacking, jumping, and shatter diving in quick succession. When you successfully pull that off, it will look something like that, where you'll get a huge burst of momentum and you'll just fly across the map. Another thing since Lightfall's changes that you can do, since we don't die from collision damage anymore, is going up against a slanted surface, we can gain height similar to the Warlock's momentum transfer. Now it's not as good as the Warlock's momentum transfer, but these two things have made shatter skating a little bit better and you can reach better places with the shatter skate now. Now a ground line is similar to a shatter skate, but it doesn't require a ledge like shatter skate does. You see, if I go off of like right here and I try to do the inputs for a shatter skate, it doesn't work. So there is a way to do it on flat ground like this where you don't need a ledge. The way this is performed is by jumping, light attacking with your sword, jump, shatter dive. And when you do this properly, it will look like, one second, like this. Now, ground lining, in my opinion, is not as useful as shatter skating since in most settings, you are always gonna have a ledge nearby to be able to hit a shatter skate from and shatter skates do bring you farther since they use the heavy attack. But the way this is performed is jump, light attack, jump, shatter dive. So next thing up on my list is the strand skate. Now the way this is performed is you need to find a slanted ledge to go ahead and hit this. You can't go off of a regular ledge to hit this, to my knowledge like I'll go right here so you can kind of hit it but it's not a like perfect so I'm gonna grab some more heavy ammo here and the inputs are the exact same as shatter skating where it's heavy attack jump and your dive ability now what I'm gonna do is get on this ledge like right here and the inputs are faster than the shatter skate so when you do it, it looks like that. You don't get any weird animations behind you. You just get sent flying and you can chain this into a grapple as well. But when you stand right up here, boom, and you just hit the strand skate. The inputs are significantly faster, but when you do it correctly, you will get a huge burst of momentum. Strand ground lines are performed exactly in the same way as regular ground lines on stasis. They're performed by jumping, light attacking, jumping, and then using your air dive ability. So when you perform it, it'll look something like this. You can also use your grapple hook to continue some momentum and change your direction that you're heading in. Thank you all for making it to the end of the video. Thank you to my friend Alone for editing this video. His link will be down in the description below. The next video is going to be the Titan Tech Guide video. So if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, comment, and sub, and click that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading my next video.